running, a form of torture for many people around the world. Why would we run? There are surely better ways to exercise without risking injury. We can go for a bike ride without the constant risk of pain. And that's like this guy. There is one thing we are not considering, though. Humans are one of the best mammals at long distance running. If we are so good at running, then how come we are injured so frequently? Humans have been running for thousands of years and have gotten better and better at it. So why has it turned into a chore? The answer may be found in the Copper Canyons of Mexico, where indigenous people live, known as the Tarumara. The tribe record for running is 435 miles in just two days. That is the same as going from Atlanta to Orlando on foot in 48 hours. The record for the rest of the world is 350 miles in over three days. This is substantially slower than the, than the Tarumara runners. While this may be an extreme, it is not uncommon for the Tarumara to put incredible mileage on their feet. In fact, what many runners believe is the main difference between Tarumara runners and everyone else is the footwear. Tarumara run with thin soled sandals or no shoes at all. This is very different from a highly cushioned shoe that you see runners using every day. Is there a correlation between the type of shoe and the amount of success? Christopher McDougall, author of the book Born to Run, definitely thinks so. He threw out his shoes and began to run entire marathons barefoot. When you run, the force on your feet can be up to three times their body weight per step. If you take the average weight of a human, which is about 140 to 150 pounds, this can mean up to 450 pounds of force slamming into your feet thousands of times per day. What researchers have found is that when you run using typical running shoes, is that you run with a heel strike. This means that your foot contacts the ground with the heel first. When we run barefoot, the foot contacts the ground with a forefoot strike. This means that the ball of your foot hits the ground first. Because of biomechanics, which I can't get into with just a short talk, the forefoot strike causes your legs to be able to handle the pressure. But with a heel strike, you are risking injury with every step. When you have the heel strike combined with the 450 pounds of force, you will eventually have extreme pain and you will end up looking like this guy. So why are runners injured so often? Humans have been running barefoot for thousands of years, but running shoes were popularized around the 70s. Humans have not evolved to wear running shoes while running. Running barefoot, or with minimalist shoes, just may be the answer, but it won't work all the time. Everybody has different legs, and there will be a different answer for everyone, but the goal is to not have extreme pain. Thank you.